Good morning, Ranger. I'm Paul Newby. I am the Chief Justice of North Carolina. How you doing, sir? I'm Jason Howell. I'm the um, Historic Weapons Officer here on North Street. And I'll be giving your tour today. What is the major cause of the American Revolution? What what one instance does most historians point to as the catalyst? An event that occurred in December of 1773, way up north in, in Massachusetts, um, the Boston Tea, Tea Party. Party. Well, what happens after the Boston Tea Party? The British in place on the colonies, but it's called the Intolerable Acts. Yeah. The army comes into Massachusetts, they take over, say, hey, nothing's happening without our approval. Uh, so the other colonies step back and they start looking at one another and saying, now the, the Patriots have just, here in North Carolina, have just destroyed a government installation. So the royal governor, Josiah Martin, has no other um, alternative except to declare war on North Carolina. At some point during the night, they're tipped off. Hey, the loyalists are coming. They will retreat across the bridge from the West Bank to the East Bank into the earthworks. The whole world lights up once they get to this point here. It's hard for us now, the quiet, the still of this beautiful day, to appreciate 5.30 in the morning, February the 27th, what it would have been, even though they anticipated. I'm sure they'd been up all night waiting for that moment when they actually are gonna fire their weapon. This is a monument to the first North Carolinian to give his life for the cause of liberty. It says, here lie the remains of Private John Grady, uh, his family pronounces it Grady, uh, of Duplin County, uh, who fell bravely fighting for his country, the first martyr in the cause of freedom in North Carolina, and the only Whig killed in this battle.